of This is a space for exchanging experiences and knowledge during LACNIC's event in the month of May. We are now celebrating the seventh edition of the FTL. We started back in 2018 with this, this initiative. The forum as such has a, its own vision and format. This was something that was thought of in response to the demand of the community and after having worked on several forums on different topics, the FTL has as a vision and an objective to maintain flexibility in this meeting with presentations that are selected, presentations that are guest presentations, and we also organize panels and new logistics depending on the demands of the community. It also has cross-cutting contents. This is to provide capacity building and talks on secure writing, BGP, IPv6, Internet of Things, interconnection, among other topics. In addition to that, we strongly promote new uh, figures. We promote the incorporation of new actors in the community as well as the approach to other communities. So how is this FTL composed? There is a program committee in charge of designing the agenda and selecting those who will be then evaluate the proposals made by the community. The program committee is composed by someone from the community appointed by LACNOX board. In this case, Jorge Villa from Cuba is in charge of that. Then we have two members of the community appointed by LACNIX board. At present, we have Wesley Correa from Brazil and Juan Pablo Cuello from Uruguay. In addition to that, we have four members of LACNIC staff, like Graciela Martinez, Elicia Peirano, Alicia Zucchetti, and myself, Mariela Rocha. A very special thanks to those who cooperate with the staff to set up this program committee. The people I have just mentioned, Jorge Villa, Wesley, and Juan Pablo, I'd like to thank them for their hard work. So, as I was saying, the program committee makes a call to a pool of evaluators who assess the proposals based on the topic. And this in response to the program committee. They are not a committee as such. They work individually. This year, we had 41 evaluators for the papers that were presented. We received 47 proposals. The program committee, based on what was decided by the evaluators, finally approved 20 fun, 21 papers that are part of the agenda for today and Thursday. This is special thanks to all those in charge of conducting the assessment of the submitted proposals, and they work on a voluntary basis. They are the ones who really contributed to setting up this agenda based on their experience and expertise. So thank you very much to all those who are on the list and who worked closely with us. So at this FTL, we have included topics such as IPv6, routing, IoT, security, interconnection, measurements, DNS, among other topics. We also have research papers from two universities from the region that were specially selected for this LACNIC Techno Forum, as well as a mentoring program of IT Women that promotes leadership of women. So that is all I wanted to share with you in order to make this introduction to LACNIC's Technical Forum. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy this Technical Forum. I now give the floor to Wesley Correa, who will be introducing the speakers of the first block. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to LACNIC's Technical Forum in LACNIC 41, as was highlighted by Mariela. During this block, we'll be having presentations on IPv6, DNS, internet measurements, as well as other topics, which are all very relevant topics for the internet community. I have the pleasure of 
introducing the different speakers that will be speaking today. After each presentation, let me remind you, we'll have time for questions. So you can use the microphones you have in the aisles, and those who wish to participate virtually will also have the opportunity of doing so through the Q&A in the Zoom platform. So without further ado, let us start with today's presentation. I'll now give the floor to the first speakers this morning, Ernesto Sanchez and Silvia Lucas da Silva. They will be making a super presentation about IPv6 security analysis with Container Lab. So you have the floor. <laughs> 